This video will show how to install and get started with Oracle Database Express Edition on Windows. First, visit the Oracle Database XE webpage. Once you're there, scroll down a little bit and click on the download link. On the download page, accept the license agreement and then click on the Oracle Database Express Edition for Windows X64 download. Once the download's complete, extract the contents of the zip file into a temporary directory. Open up the files and find setup.exe and run that. Note that you'll need to be a member of the administrators group and if you're logged in as a domain user to the Windows machine, then you should be connected to the network. Once you get to the welcome screen for the installer, press Next to begin. Agree to the license agreement. Press Next. And then choose the location where you'd like to install Express Edition. You can click the Change button if you'd like to pick a non-default location. On the next page, enter a single password that'll be used for the Sys, System, and PDB Admin accounts. Then press Next. On the summary screen, check to make sure everything's okay, and then press Install to kick off the installation. The installation should take around 20 or 30 minutes, depending on your system configuration. On the final screen, connection strings are provided for connecting to the database from the same system. Please take a note of these as you'll be using them later on. Now we're going to open up SQL Plus and access the database. Click on the Start menu and find the Oracle Home. In the Oracle Home entry, locate SQL Plus and double-click it. This will run SQL Plus. Now note that we could have used SQL Developer or other tools instead. To connect, enter slash as sysdba and hit return. Note that whoever installed this database will automatically have sysdba privileges and will not have to connect with a password. Next, we'll issue alter pluggable database all open to open the pluggable database and alter pluggable database all save state. Uh, this will make sure that whenever the database service automatically starts up, so will the pluggable databases. Now we'll do a select name from B$ PDBs to get a look at the names of the PDBs in this system. And you can see we've got XCPDB1 and now we'll connect to XEPDB1 using the connect string syntax connect sys slash password at localhost colon the port number 1521 slash XEPDB1 as sysdba. And you can use this connection string format to connect to non-local databases. You would just change localhost to the name of the system where the database is located. Okay, so now we're connected to the XEPDB1 pluggable database. And this happens to contain the HR example schema, which might be useful to you. So let's go ahead and change the password on the HR user by saying alter user HR identified by password. And the account's locked initially, so we'll unlock it. Alter user HR account unlock. And now we'll connect to HR using the same connect string. So connect HR slash password at localhost colon 1521 slash XCPDB1. And we'll do a select star from employees to show that it works 
and it does. And finally, let's look at how to start and stop the database using Windows Services. So open up the search bar, enter services. When you find them, double click on it. And when it opens the service window, scroll down until you find the service Oracle Service XE. When you find it, you can right click on it and choose stop to stop the database. Similarly, you can right click and say start to start up the database. And the database is started. Now, if you'd like to set up the service so that the database comes up automatically when Windows starts, you can right click on the service and choose properties. Then in the properties page, you can set up the startup type to automatic or manual, depending on what you want. And thanks a lot for watching. Uh, here's some additional links that you might find useful. And please have fun using Oracle Database Express Edition for Windows.